Welcome back. Dr. Noah Voles here with evidence-based exercises for common complaints. Today, we're going to be looking at suprascapular neuropathy. So this is a damage to the suprascapular nerve. Uh, there's usually some sort of trauma. So this is most likely something that you've been diagnosed with by your chiropractor, your physical therapist, your physician. Um, they've, us they've usually determined that that's what's going on. And so here are some exercises that you can use in order to heal from that su suprascapular neuropathy. The first exercise is internal rotation with the towel. You want to place the towel on the shoulder that's been injured and then you'll reach the upper arm over and take hold of the towel and then you'll reach the injured arm back behind you and take hold of the bottom of the towel. Then gently use the upper arm to pull so that the lower arm goes into internal rotation. Be gentle. The next exercise is called the cross body stretch. Bring the injured arm across your body. Hook the arm around the elbow with the opposite arm and using the opposite arm, begin to gently pull the injured arm toward your body. The next exercise is called the corner pec stretch. Stand in a corner, bring your arms up so the elbows are in line with the shoulders and the palms of the hands on the opposite walls. Step the foot forward and then bend the knee, leaning forward, getting a stretch through the front of the chest. The next exercise is called cane abduction. Take a cane or a broomstick or a dowel and place the palm of the hand of the injured arm on the end of the dowel. Using the opposite arm, begin to push with the arm, bringing the arm out to the side and up as high as it will go comfortably. These are four exercises you can use for suprascapular neuropathy. If you're doing these exercises, start with three sets of five and then work yourself up until you're doing 10 reps of each one of the exercises. You will know within the first week if the exercises are working and benefiting. If the exercises are causing you more pain, then you'll want to stop and get reassessed by um, a hands-on professional. I hope that these exercises help you heal your shoulder pain. Thank you so much for watching.